So last time we were in a bit of pickle uh, because we had like this uh, discussion we need to e eavesdrop but I couldn't get it working because there's like okay pixel hunting is very bad trend in these kind of games and that's like well what you need to do anyway in, the, in this game despite this being a new uh, point and click game so I was first thinking that I should like use these commands out outside here but no you need to do something inside an electric flashlight what do you want to see we be talking ah, don't want to be disturbed let's do it slow Oh, no, now he hides. Maybe I'm not making myself clear enough. Please do not want to be disturbed. Okay, I misclicked. So three tries and... Go to the pole. What tell y'all? Be the shipment ready, we be waiting with the boat for the next load. All's well. We got enough for many a load. The boys be unloading from the bus as we be speaking. I'm talking about the stash ready to roll out. We got some boats to load. Ours warehouse be fully stocked. Essex ain't staying dry for long. Dry. Dry. Phew. Just run-of-the-mill smugglers and not anything... Worse, that's kind of a relief. Yeah. Well then, I'll be off then to oversee the... Hold up! Drop anchor! This just popped back into me head. There's been tell of one or two inquisitive types nosing around town. One or Still two. jabbering. Ain't nothing we can't manage. Yes. Manage. Manage. I mean, I mean, yeah, that was pretty stupid puzzle. Okay, now we have a cutscene. Okay, there, there's the boat. We are following this guy. He didn't bath. An achievement. <laughs> okay. Nosy landlubber. Shift ye cargo all. We have some extra baggage to bring aboard. <laughs> okay, they killed me. It's the tally we be agreed on. Twenty grades, good to go. We don't be having room on board for that many. Rest easy. We'll be getting them all in a week. Enough pointless banter. Someone could be a spying us. 
Those be the last crates of this load stored aboard. Yeah, thanks for following. Okay, it be settled then. See you next week for the rest of the shipment. See you then, you damn fool. Okay, so I suppose now it's safe to go. Okay. Proper landing. Pick up bottle. Ah, whiskey. No now we get the uh, go to the entrance, okay. Now we get the uh, guy talking. I mean it's pitch black in here. The flashlight doesn't seem to work down here. Maybe it's the dampness in the air. Jeez! Ouch! Yep, that's a wall. What was that? M Monkey Island situation. Jeez! Oof! The pain. Hmm. It's not working. Ew. It's slimy. What the? What the hell? Hey, I think I found a ladder. So many crates. I wouldn't know where to start. This one says whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey! Zadok wants his whiskey! <laughs> He's just outside. Uh, okay. Nailed shut. And the open ones are empty. Okay. Okay, he's pretty... He has pretty neat... <laughs> tactical location. How, how convenient. your memory. Oh yeah, he's she's thirsty. Zadok's mind feels clearer. What was it you were asking about again? You're here to make fun of poor Zadok like all the rest? No, old timer. I'm just here to listen to the tale of Zadok, which only Zadok himself can tell. Why, but you are so young. What brings you to such a place as this? Actually, I'm just passing through. In a few hours, I'll be heading on to Arkham. 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 So many times has Zadok been there in the past. But like the fool Zadok is, Zadok has always let himself be drawn back here. Zadok thought things might be different. But nothing ever changes here. Follow Zadok. I wonder where they are going. most interested in why Innsmouth has become so shunned by the outside world. <laughs> why so shunned? Well, allow Zadok to clue you in, my young friend. Reputation is pretty much just a human construct. And they care very little about such concepts here. But Perhaps they care just enough to make sure that people do not come sniffing around. Zadok would like you to see something. Okay. Well, now, now I'm scared. Wait up. Wait up. Okay. This is cutscene. I don't need to. Where the devil did he get to? Okay, he's behind. Yikes. It 
all began out there. Some kind of infernal gate opened in the depths of the ocean. That devil reed. The legend spoke of devils dancing upon the reef when the moon was born. Legends. Mere stories. But with power enough to obsess and to plant those seeds of insanity into the minds of all. Oh, if only we had known the terrible truth that seemed only the absurd superstitions of these ignorant fishermen. We may never know what Captain Obed Mash discovered on his voyages to the South Seas, but Whatever it was, it was not legends. For his ships returned laden with gold. From that day on, Innsmouth became one of the richest ports in the state. Fish were teeming in amazing abundance. This made Captain Marsh one of the most important figures in the community. But then began his strange behavior. He began raving about the strange deities worshipped amongst the South Sea Islanders. And about how such worship was actually answered, rewarding them with everything they longed for. Many folk, including Zadok's own doomed father, witnessed boats sailing out to the Devil Reef in the dead of night and returning to dock overflowing with gold and laden with more fish than could be caught in a three-day stint at sea. Around this time, people began to disappear. Those who opposed Captain Marsh started to vanish. To blame him for this seemed the obvious judgment, but the townsfolk were blinded by their newfound wealth and looked the other way. So, how does Zadok know this? The night Zadok's father failed to return home, Zadok saw the boats gathering around the Devil Reef. Damn their eyes! Zadok cannot erase their chant from his mind. Then they threw a large bundle into the sea. <laughs> Zadok swears that Zadok saw the water surface break. Figures appear that were alike both you and Zadok, but not, if only for their elongated heads and the simian way in which they move. That's a few bit better. Yeah, he's yelling. He's completely insane. I'm glad he's gone. I was scared he brought me here to get rid of me. 
Cats of All Thrones is, uh, is a HP Lovecraft novel. What does the cat say at midnight? Nothing on the cat of Alt Altar Nothing. can speak. Only a cat of Altar can speak. I knew that the keepers of the key had not forgotten about me. Zadok has lost all hope by now. We have to stop them. We must stop them. The very fate of this world is at stake. What are you talking about? Why do I only attract the loonies? Yep. Let me start again from the very beginning. This book is a very ancient text, the Necronomicon. This copy is one of only a few remaining volumes, and all are kept under the strictest of security because of their inherent danger. It is said to have been written by the mad Arabic prophet Abdul al Hazred in the 8th century, who was witnessed by many to have been devoured in the plain light of day by something unseen. As curator of the Miskatonic University Library, I have access to this copy. But I must warn you, there are those who have lost their minds from a mere glance at certain sections. Al Hazrid do, wrote do, 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 do not watch the pictures. The one we assume to know of. A reality in which mankind and all his works plays an extremely marginal role. Let's just say that I have seen for myself proof of some of the book's contents and that. They are not as unbelievable as they may seem. According to the text, it seems that certain entities that we named the Great Old Ones have ruled over this and many other worlds from a time way before mankind had even taken its first step. And now they sleep a deep sleep of death, waiting for the stars to align and for their reawakening. In his house at Relaya, dead Cthulhu lies dreaming, but he is able to communicate with his inhuman worshippers and certain particularly sensitive people through their dreams to bring about the ritual he desires. Inhuman worshippers? Horrible, pre-human creatures, and probably our original ancestors. Virtually immortal, able to thrive with equal ease in the depths of the sea or upon land. Anthropologists have proposed contact between these creatures and certain South Sea tribes based on the ancient legends of these natives. Way back in the times when underwater volcanic activity raised eons old sunken islands back to the surface, these creatures delivered up much bounty to the natives, but never the equal of what they asked for in return. Immortality has its price. These hideous creatures were unable to reproduce, so they demanded to mate with humans, spawning half-breed abominations, which at first looked human, but with the passage of years, more and more like their other parent, and who took to the sea once their time arrived. Obed learned how to contact uh, these beings. Original story actually gave a bit, bit different explanation. Was that with the rites of the Devil Reef? He made first contact with them and began to appease them with human sacrifices. It was around that time that I was inserted into my watchman position here as lighthouse keeper. I was the perfect mob. I could see everything was going on and not arouse the slightest suspicion for years all I did was watch and write and all the things I have watched the ancient treasures March received were laundered through his gold refinery which was only constructed as a front to hide their subnautical origin. But God himself only knows what else went on there behind closed doors. Those that spoke out were hunted down and sacrificed. At first, 
obeyed, refused to grant the kind of interactions that they desired. But these things are old, of ancient cunning. They convinced him. And now there are none left in this town with pure human bloodlines intact, apart from poor old Saddam. And you actually believe these stories? Fishmen marrying humans? I have seen many strange things, but I have learned to prize apart unsubstantiated rumor with the pliers of rational thought. When I started asking my contacts questions about the fate of my brother, every single one of them provided more and more proof of the truth of these legends. To be honest, I myself was preparing to leave for Innsmouth, but some of my contacts, for obvious reasons I cannot name, convinced me to remain manning my post here at this library due to the vital intelligence it holds. Dare you even imagine how much fear this all fills me with concerning the fate of my dear brother? My contacts specifically requested me to contact you, Bone Carter, and they asked me to tell you all of this to prepare you for. How did I become so famous without noticing it? Who are these people? I cannot divulge their identities. That would place both them and myself in mortal danger. Of course, it is vital that you do not breathe a word of what was sent here. And who, who would I, I tell? tell? I don't, I don't want to get, get committed, committed to an asylum. asylum. <laughs> you are so young. Why have they sent me one so green? This is the night. The stars have aligned. Oh no. I heard tell that they have recovered all they need for the ritual. A stranger shall deliver everything up unto them. Who would be so foolish as to assist them? Oops. You must stop them. Or all these years of preparation will have been for naught. I <laughs> lie, I feel. <laughs> Those years you would have spent in Asylum, you mean? Keep watch over the key. Okay, so plot is thickening and, and there were a lots of exposition. So uh, basically uh, how it was retailed, told in a uh, Chaosium's Call of Cthulhu uh, Escape from Ninspout uh, source book is that uh, the deep ones are basically immortal. And they have a, thus they have a problem with the uh, uh, overpopulation. So basically, their their females, uh, if they are stressed, they kill their young. So that's what they need uh, humans for to, uh, to reproduce. Excuse me, have you seen the bus that was waiting outside? Gone, gone. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh no! Now what am I supposed to do? Free Gilman house room for you! Gilman discount? Yes! Discount! Beautiful stranger! Yes! Beautiful! 
I don't seem to have much of a choice, and I can't turn down a free lodging for the night. I'll take it. Okay, so this is the private eye. Who, who's, who's Carter? And this is the Mars refinery. Locked. Do I have a crowbar? Locked. That could come in handy. No, they could be hot on my tail. It won't open. Mr. Marsh didn't take his overcoat with him when he last left. He must have been in a hurry. I can't. It won't open. A golden lamp. An eyesore, even by my standards. One very expensive model of typewriter. A sturdy desk of masterful craftsmanship. It won't open. It won't open. Could it be full of precious metals? A beautiful statue of some bizarre creature. I've never seen this particular style before. Button. The statue has a hidden button inside. Push button. Something happened outside. Uh, outside. Locked. Go to the hole. Ah, okay. Go to the cave. So this is how it was in an RPG. Okay, that seems gruesome. The chains are. I'm chained up. You do not look like one of them. Please save me. I can't open those with my bare hand. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Crowbar was in was handy. I was gonna die. <laughs> Calm down. Poor John. They ripped him apart. John? John Armitage? Yes. My poor friend. John. Armitage. It's all that remains of him over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dr. Armitage will not be too happy about this. Okay, Tell so me everything Armitage that brother. For that, we gotta get out of here. Calm down. The Tiara. The Tiara. Time is short. I told you to calm down. What are you raving about? My mission here was to spread the word of the Lord, but I stuck my nose in where I shouldn't have. I could not grasp why the town followed that abominated faith of theirs. Those things should not be of our world. I hear something. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Missed. How about save save the game? Help! That could come in. I'm chained up. Thank you, thank you. 
I thought it was gonna die. <laughs> Calm down. Poor John. They ripped him apart. John? John Armitage? Yes, my poor friend John. It's all that remains of him over there. <laughs> Damn. Dr. Armitage will not be too happy about this. Tell me everything that happened. No time for that. We gotta get out of here. Calm down. The tiara. The tiara. Time is short. I told you to calm down. What are you raving about? My mission here was to spread the word of the Lord, but I stuck my nose in where I shouldn't have. I could not grasp why the town followed that abominated faith of theirs. Those things should not be of our world. I hear something. What the hell are those things? Missed couple. What they are. That's why I'm still alive. The deep, deep ones. They wanted to know how I knew. Poor John was not so fortunate. That's all my fault. May God have mercy on my soul. Tell me everything. Some time ago, I was approached by the lighthouse keeper who asked me to join him. But I was reluctant to do so. He told me a fantastic story about an organization of which he was a part. That investigates the evil that lurks behind the veil of our reality. <laughs> an organization which only shows its hands in time of dire need. Interesting. I... I think I alienated him when I told him that only Almighty God can defeat pure evil, and that prayer is the sole true weapon of Christian wields. I heard him out, but pride goeth before destruction, and naughtiness before a fall. <laughs> so I changed my mind, and I went over to the Church of the Order of Dagon to demand some answers. Okay, that was a <laughs> mistake. <laughs> I was a blow to the back of the head. <laughs> Through the fog of my days, I overheard their conversation with horror. I heard tell of a relic capable when the stars align once again, of awakening something older than mankind, to which these beings are faithful servants. Do you know what that relic is? Do you know where? It is. Yes. It must be that hideous tiara I saw the priest wearing at the altar I was dragged to. We must find it before all time runs out. Okay, let's do this. But which way do we go? Were you conscious when they brought you back here? Do you remember anything that might help us find our way? I remember the dark. They took the torch from the wall. One of them fell into a pool of water. He cursed in a strange language. I... I took advantage of the momentary distraction. I tried to fight back, but all it gave me was another blow to the head. <laughs> from there on, things get a little fuzzy in my memory. They literally dragged me on. I, I recall seeing blood flow into a stream. I, I, I assume it was mine. I recall being dragged out a pitch black corridor before being chained up next to that other poor soul. Now we must go, I beg of you. We're gonna... We're gonna... Yes, but you must remain calm or else we will never get out of here alive. Elliot! Are you all right? My head still hurts and I'm scared, but I'll be all right. Okay, so apparently this is a compulsory maze. <laughs> Look at the, that, that's a bone. Okay, that's not a hot spot. So let's go north. That's a water.
red stream. Okay, totally by accident. What the hell is that thing? Run! Ah, uh, sure, God. Escape from Shogos. Go! Go! Here, catch! Get out of here! Ah! Just take it and get the hell out of here! Okay, the PI was taken. Okay. So that's the, <laughs> the that was the that was the end of on the end of the PI probably. So let's see. So two doors like in a novel. I got three, three doors. This one seems less sturdy than the others. A metal bolt lock. It doesn't look very strong. I can't. I can't. I can't. Holes. It looks like there used to be a bolt lock here. But not anymore. It was a, a I can't. dark corners of the earth when you need to like push these. It doesn't look particularly st A rather heavy wardrobe. Better not. Better not. It's locked. I'm dead on my feet. I'd better hit the sack. It won't open. Seems comfortable enough, even if a tad soiled. I think I'll sleep in my clothes, just in case. Okay. <laughs> I die. <laughs> I suppose I was thinking that I need to do something something with this. I don't have a So there's a bolt that's missing, basically. It won't open. Well, of course it, it doesn't open. Big 
we can close these. Using the close Seems option. comfortable enough, even if a tad soiled. No, I okay, think no, no it's close, so I don't case. die immediately. What's going on? Okay, yes. Yes, enable easy mode. There's this uh, bit too, bit less uh, time I, I would need with this clunky UI. So that's that's like a easy issue with here. I can't. Yes, you can. Seems comfortable. I think I'll. Okay, that was... That was pretty... Hectic. Oh my god, I think I've been spotted by that horde of disfigured folks slumping towards me. <laughs> okay, I died. Spotted by that horde of disfigured folks slumping towards me. Too, too slow. A again, timed. Time thing. Uh, let's let's let. 
Oh my god, I think I've been spotted by that horde of disfigured folks slumping towards me. I can only pray that this disguise works. But he was already spotted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Shambling along. Okay, there's lots of fish people. Deep ones. The fish, fish a bit like uh, the one scene from the Walking Dead first season. Okay, wrong turn. So that, that that's a now this is a maze runner. Okay, take take a wrong turn and you die. Anything you find and say hi to Cthulhu for me. Oh, no, over my dead body. Over my dead body? What the hell is going on? Okay. Follow me. Is that the uh, Carter? Who are you? Why have you pretended to be one of our members? What the hell? Speak! What know you of the keepers of the key? Keepers of the key? You knew the password. That crazy talk about the cat speaking? I heard it from the old drunk guy. Zadong. Oh god. I saw his body floating to and fro on the tides a few hours ago. Who was this Zadok? He was the only person I could trust around here. Before he went completely insane. Sir. Zadok killed himself. Or was killed. I suspected his mind couldn't hold out. Enough. Time grows short. That which is coming shall wipe away every trace of our world. The great old ones have been waiting on this pivotal moment for eons. Eager to reclaim their dominion over this world. I demand to know why you came here. And what led you here. Well, Boss. I was in Newburyport. Cut to the chase. Well... I happened upon Innsmouth on my way to Arkham. <laughs> I lost them. Uh, but then that guy in black accosted me and asked me to... This is just a damned waste of time. You're right. He knows nothing. Go now! Get out of here! Upon my order, this entire town is about to get blasted straight back to hell. Get yourself to the caves and look for a way out of this damn place. Wait. Utter but a single word of what you have witnessed here. And we will track you down and silence you. Do you really think it wise to send the stranger off like that on his own? <laughs> Did you even listen to him? Zadok is dead. He is the only pure blood remaining in the entire town. The one last piece they need for their ritual tonight. Oh no. This will keep them busy enough. Ah. Uh, Operation Ackley. Ackley. 
There's an Ackley. Okay. So, to the caves. Okay, now I understand why they had like two partner of this. Okay, so... US Navy is attacking. Blew up and collapsed behind me. Damn it all! Well, at least I have a lantern this time. You okay, know this is a maze runner. something I can't see. Chanky as not the most pleasant gameplay here. I won't go there. Where are you going? Is there a lever there? Two levers. About, I think uh, other end has one as well. Pretty hard to see without using the lantern. Okay, three levers. I wonder if there's a fourth one. An exit. Okay. No way I'm touching that. <laughs> okay. Horrific mockeries of human skulls. They look very old. It seems all those ancient legends held some truth. may fear that which they worship before this altar. <laughs> I didn't want to stuck my head into that. I 
fear that even God himself may fear that. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, no touching. No touching. Never. That's the second biggest skull I've ever seen. Oh my god! It was just jerked aside suddenly, the moment I touched it. like the same symbols as on the panel back there. Okay. Let's see now. They have some sort of So let let's see That could be like Can't be. Do we have a star here. No. There's like this bolt, bolt of lightning. It's like on only couple understandable markings here. Okay, the end, end of this. Safe cracker, solve the combination puzzle. puzzle. Some kind of engraving inside the altar. Oh no. That is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange eons, even death may die. Oh no. Stop! Fool! Don't kill him just yet. We need his pure human blood for the ritual first. The crazy old pure blood died trying to escape our clutches. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Pixel Hunter never used the hotspot help option. Are they will a hotspot help function? Supposed to be a fast this game. A devil's reef. Oh no. Something's wrong with the blood. Deacon is angry. Was he pure human? I suppose he wasn't a pure human. Just a bombardment that escaped in smoke. I came to about a mile from the town, which lay smoking in ruins. I have no idea how I got there, but I had survived. And all I wanted was to get away from that hellish place. I've kept this tale to myself. Most would have thought me mad. Although, I'm sure there are those who know the truth of what I say. Personally, I only wished to forget the whole terrible ordeal. But I could not. That place had become as if it were a part of me, and obsessed my every thought. By night I dreamed of Cyclopean cities rising from the seabed, and of swimming alongside those things, despite my fear of them. After some research, I found my mother's bloodline to be intertwined with that of the marshes. Okay. And this filled me with an unspeakable insight concerning that fateful night. As I pen the last lines of this, my chronicle of Innsmouth, I am shedding the last vestiges of my humanity. Forever. Okay. Choose a side. I wonder if this had, like, several... Several endings, but yeah, a uh, very old-fashioned game, pretty late, and I don't know what engine they used. Probably coded by themselves, but yeah, I think this had a high high moments, but they were far and far between, and, and they were like lots of exposition in the end of the game, and couple really annoying. Uh, Mazes, yeah, and the, and the couple totally ridiculous scenes. Eavesdropping was was like crazy, crazy, and the um, sound puzzle. This engine doesn't really pay, pay in, play into actually using timed events and. Stuff like that. So, but anyway, kudos for making this. Uh, it was nice retelling of the escape from Innsmouth, and ending is quite quite into his P. Lovecraft novel. And I really like this. Not really horror, but more like Monkey Islandish humor with a with a bad ending. Yep. Okay. So yeah, was kind of fun. I have the newer uh, uh, Mountains of Madness from the same developers, which I'm going to play at some point. This is not the uh, most popular game ever, so... But uh, still I want to like check check and check these uh, indie games. I have a sh soft spot for indie developers, so w why, why not? Anyway, for today's uh, broadcast, I was thinking that I'll restart the broadcast. We play uh, Iron Fury before Sauna, and after Sauna games, we are going returning back to the FDF mod, Finnish Defenses Forces, 
mod for the Operation Flashpoint, aka Arma Call for Assault. So that's the idea. There's like several campaigns and 1.4 update uh, with, the, with the World War II units, which we are going to check out because why not? I mean, I mean, it's it's a cool mod and it's a it's a cool game still, even even it's a, if it's a bit janky. So yeah, jankiness can can actually spoil spoil a lot of game, but yeah, you really can't expect much from the from the old games which are like planned for the for example different kind of mouses um mouse, mouses weren't, weren't weren't this accurate back back in the days so but anyway very special thanks to hp lovecraft thanks for playing yeah this was great in the end it was good yeah kudos for psychodev all right, so small break, five minute break, and we are going to return with the uh, Phantom Fury. 